Well, um, proactive is about me. It's it's about like my problems. It's not like a uniform like blanket that will all fit everything. Like you know, it's it's tailored to me to what I need, and that's the biggest difference between you and other experiences that I've had of, of proactive. Um, but you know, it's an investment in yourself um, because. You know, you invest in your job, you invest in your vacation, or you invest in things for yourself. But this is something that that's more important than that. It's investing in me. So this has been kind of like an eight-year journey for me um, since I've torn my meniscus. So I've, I've off and on had pretty, pretty big issues throughout the whole thing. Um, so, but in the last two years or so, I've had more problems and more problems and, and I would get short relief by doing some small things, but not anything ever permanent. And it seemed like more problems kept adding to. So it was probably in the last year that it was like, I need to do something, but I didn't know what to do. Well, I never had a bad experience elsewhere, but it wasn't all that helpful either. I've only had one other experience with PT, um, and that was after I, right after I had my uh, meniscus um, tear and I had surgery, and then I was in PT. And I kind of felt like a number in a room. Like, okay, here's what you need to do. You go off and do that. I'm gonna work with another patient over here and here, and, and it was, I felt like it was back and forth, so it was. I felt like it wasn't personalized to me. It was just like, well, I mean, if you're just gonna hand me exercises to do, why can't I just look up and do it myself on my own? And then, um, you know, I mean, you know, I didn't know. Like, I honestly was like, I wasn't sure what to do to help myself. You know, I knew that there was an issue and I knew I needed to do something, but I didn't know who to see or what to do. It got pretty bad, um, to the point where I couldn't drive anymore because it hurt so bad to even drive. I couldn't walk hardly, and couldn't do steps. Um, going down steps was excruciating. Um, I'm a teacher, so it was hard to go through my day um, so I felt pain all day, every day. And then it got to the point where I couldn't sleep at night and I was waking up six, seven times, just in pain, hurting, couldn't get comfortable. Um, and I knew I needed to do something. And so that's when I actually came to see you. I felt like I was missing all life. <laughs> I was missing on things that I enjoy, like I enjoy walking, um, so I've been able to do that very often. I was, you know, just being able to do stuff with friends, worried about, oh, was I going to cramp up, was it going to hurt, but it's just, I felt like I was just missing out on bettering myself, like, you know, I'm, the relief of walking was a stress reliever for me. And so I didn't have that. And so it just got harder. I tried a lot of different things. I tried looking up online and finding exercises, but you're doing those things and you're not necessarily always doing them right. So sometimes it was more harmful than good. And then I went to a chiropractor and again, it helped in the short term but then it all came back and it came back worse. Um, I went to an orthopedic and he was like, injection, let's do cortisone. And, and I didn't really want that. Uh, I didn't want to uh, be constantly, I didn't want something that would help me for a short term and then in long term it would be worse. And so, you know, 
all of those things. I mean, I, I went to doctors, I went to the chiropractor, I tried things on my own. Um, none of them really helped me much in the long run. Well, my understanding was the only experience I'd had before that was, um, you know, the, the physical therapy where I went in after my surgery and the guy literally was like, okay, you're going to do this, 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 and this, and I'll check on you once. You know, it was, it was just like I was put into a gym and just said, here, do these things or something like that. And, it, you know, and that was my experience. So I, I didn't know that there was something different than that. Um, you know, that it wasn't personalized to me. It felt like, okay, well, you had a meniscus tear, here's your paper. I felt like it. Well, um, proactive is about me. It's, it's about, like, my problems. It's not, like, a uniform, like, blanket that will all fit everything. Like, you know, it's, it's tailored to me, to what I need, and that's the biggest difference between you and other experiences that I've had of, of proactive. Um, but, you know, it's an investment in yourself um, because, you know, you invest in your job, you invest in your vacation, or you invest in things for yourself, but this is something that that's more important than it's investing in me. I really enjoy coming in here because everybody's always positive. I, you know, greet it when I walk in the door. Um, you know, everybody's always nice. Everybody's always friendly. Um, it is centered on the patient. You know. Um, uh, you know, of course, obviously, the massage chair is pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, I mean, it, it's it's a positive environment. And that's what I like the best. I would say that, again, if you can invest in anything, investing in your health, investing in yourself, because you feel better, you work better, you everything else will improve if your health is better. <laughs> I had two goals uh, when I came in here, and my two goals were: uh, we were I'm a teacher, and we were taking a, a class trip with 98 graders to Washington D.C. And I wanted to be able to go on the trip and walk and do that. And then my second is uh, my husband and I have booked a trip to Europe uh, on a, a cruise. And uh, I wanted to be able to do that. Uh, I did the Washington, D.C. trip. That was in the middle of, of my therapy, but I did it. I walked and I kept up with my eighth grade students. And then in one week, I will be going on that cruise and I'll be able to walk and do that. Mm -hmm.